My name is Samir Lilani and I'm the director for Amrapali, which is a, a jewellery brand um, from Jaipur and I look after the UK and Europe. The brand was founded in, in Jaipur in India in 1978 um, and we've been in the UK since 2001 when we started concession with Selfridges. Um, then we, we took over the boutique, we're in Harrods and we're in Liberty. My favourite my favorite collection, the three collections here, is the Dark Maharaja. Um, and the idea behind this came from uh, all the European jewellery houses do collections on Maharajas and how grand and how wonderful they were. As the, the brand's grown, we used to do kind of maybe a bit too much. Um, mm -hmm. And now we're trying to focus it without losing that individuality. So we're trying to get a balance between having much more defined collections, but mm -hmm. having lots of different pieces, but not having too much that you get confused. Once you've had two Panthers from Cartier and you've got four fairies from Van Cleef and you've got uh, um, Boucheron and you've got uh, Harry Winston and you've got a couple of Bulgari, you want something different and you're confident enough to buy that. And I think that's where Harrods, the, the clients there, they, they have the ability to, 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 to and the spending power to buy things and they have the confidence to be bold enough to buy things which are a really strong, kind of different, um, um, but with beautiful stones always. All in rubies, gold and silver, and, and uh, black rhodium silver. And I like it because it's something very different. I think nobody else is doing anything like this. It has a lot of Eastern inspiration. It's, it's very contemporary. This is actually called the Makra bracelet, and it's a mythical creature from northern in India, from an area called UP. Um, it's part alligator, part dragon, um, part donkey, um, and part lion. This particular piece is about 120 years old and we've done a collection of modern contemporary ones. They're very very hard to find because there's so much silver in them and they're so old. We have around 10 to 12 of them in our collection and I, I wear one nearly all the time. Nice to have something which nobody else has got. Absolutely. When we did this collection we did a charity bracelet with them mm -hmm. um, and, and what we were doing is we were donating money to education and healthcare at the mines where they're mined from. My favorite place in London. Yeah. Um, what restaurants? Or? I don't know. Yes. I, uh, I actually I think that London has London's like thousands of villages all stuck together, and I think that if you find the right villages with the right charm. So for example, I live in Battersea, and I love Battersea. I love I love walking through the park, going to the, the pagoda. Uh, um, there's a few hidden gem restaurants, uh, so this is also fun. I think the river is the best thing in London. The art is wonderful.